war war models are to be used can be used to shed lights on causality among variables war models can be used to shed light on causality among variables the basic uh, idea behind war causality testing is that past can cause present and the future but not the other way around the future cannot affect pa past so past can affect future this is the basic idea now granger granger causality in establishing causality we must make sure that the underlying variables are stationary if they are not we have to difference the variables and run the causality test on differenced variables this is important however if the variables are non stationary but are integrated non stationary but they are integrated we need to use error correction term to account for causality if any like your co integration like your co integration we have already discussed such things in model selection you can watch that video where the model selection has been discussed how we do granger causality test we regress current y on all lagged y terms and other variables if any such as trend time but do not include the lagged x terms in the regression this is the restricted res regression we may call it a restricted regression obtain the restricted residuals sum of squares whatever residuals you are getting you square it and total it so you will you can name this as rss residual sum of squares restricted reestimate the equation including the lagged x term lagged x term this is unrestricted regression because now you have added x also from the regression obtain the unrestricted residuals square them and you may call it sum of squares of residuals we may name it r s s u r u r means unrestricted so null hypothesis is that lagged x terms do not belong in the regression to test the null hypothesis we apply f test which is f is equal to r s s restricted that is residual sum of squares minus rss ur divided by m upon rss ur divided by n minus k that is degrees of freedom available where m and n and minus k are degree of freedom where m is the number of lagged x terms how many how many x terms you have used it if you have used only one one lag term then notice to be divided by 1 if it is if you are using two lag terms then it is 2 n minus k is degree of freedom k is the number of parameters estimated in unrestricted regression and n is the sample size so i have I, we have already discussed uh degree of freedom in another video so you can watch that video degree of freedom is very simple clearly explained in that now if the computed f value exceeds the critical f value you have to see the table if that critical value see you can see the f table if your calculated value is more than that then we reject the null hypothesis we accept the uh, alternate hypothesis means x causes y now we can do it otherwise now that y affects x if it is required manually if you are doing by x uh now when you run the test you can do it switching x and y you can take x as dependent variable y as independent variable so there may be four cases unidirectional causality that x causes y unidirectional causality that y causes x y to x 
Bilateral causality is indicated when the sets of y and x coefficients are statistically significant, different from zero in both the regressions, if both causes with each other. Independence is suggested when the sets of y and x coefficients are not statistically significant in either of the regression. So there are four situations. It can be unidirectional, it can be bilateral causality, and it can be independent. No, x does not cause y, y does not cause x. This can be the result. Let us open. This is the Excel file, the data which I am going to use it. I have taken up the data from 1990. Actually, uh, our uh, year is 1990, 91. It starts from April to March. So actually it should be called 1990, 91, 91, 92, 93, 94. But for the sake of convenience, I have taken it up 1991, 92, 93. But this year is actually from April 90 to March 91. So I have taken it up with GNP, gross national product, GFC, and then capital formation, export, and invisible. Invisible is also export, but this export is of IT. This export is of IT. That's why we call it invisible and other money which we receive it so they they are termed as invasion so we are going to open this file in uh, eviews i have opened this file in eviews so this same years gnp gfc capital form export invisible so i'm going to say next next and this file is finished and this file has come as capital formation uh, export, GFC, GNP, invisible, residuals, and year. So one thing you have to note, when you are going to run Granger causality, there should be only two variables. There should be only two variables, one dependent and one independent. One dependent and one independent. Note, if there are three, four variables, then we'll have to run war. Then we'll have to run war. But if you are going to have, if you are having two, two variables, dependent and independent variables, so you can run Granger result. So I am going to open GNP as my independent uh, by dependent variable and export by con by putting control and mouse click. I have just going to open GNP and exports as group open as group. So now these two groups have been opened, GNP and exports. These are the two variables. GNP can be dependent variable. It can be Y. Export can be X variable. So both the variables can be uh, there. So we have to see whether GNP affects exports or exports affect GNP. So we'll go to view. And in the view, there is a down Granger causality. Down there is a Granger project. So let us see. We are taking two lags. System says take two lags. Yes, okay, take two lags because it will take the two lags of GNP. It will take the two lags of GNP. Say okay. And it is the this is the result. The result says export does not Granger cause GNP. Probability is less than 0.05. So we accept the alternate hypothesis. These are these two are not dull hypothesis. Export does not Granger cause GNP. And this is rejected. It means export Granger cause GNP. With the export GNP increases. With the export GNP increases. So this probability is 0 0.022. It means it is less than 0 0.05. So we say opposite of this because null hypothesis export does not Granger cause GNP. It means it is opposite of this alternate hypothesis export Granger causes GNP. Now, in case of GNP, does not Granger cause export? We accept the null hypothesis because probability value is more than 0 0.05. So GNP does not Granger cause export. With the GNP, 
export does not increase but with export gnp increases so this is the way we are doing it with the series at par so we can see the results after some time we'll see also in the var we will we will take more variables then we'll see then we cannot do granger causality granger causality is done only with the two variables now we can we can reestimate the uh, equation gnp uh, we will take gnp then we will take gfc uh, gfc uh, so then we will take invisible we can take four and we can run it as open as var equation open as var because now there are more it is not going to be granger causality in two series but it is going to be granger causality in var so we are going to use it as unrestricted we are going to use it as unrestricted and this is going to be gnp as our dependent variable export gfc invisible they are our variables we'll say okay okay so now we have taken up the lags too so we have got gnp and gnp2 they are the they are the lagged variables of gnp then we have to take we can take it at export we can take it as gfc we can gfc lag variables and then invisible lags variables so this the they they individually individually their uh, t stats are given in the brackets individually their t stats are given in the brackets so you can see combined in a combined whether gnp lag variables are and gnp second lag variable is affecting or not export is affecting gnp or not gfc is affecting in or not so you can reestimate it you can reestimate by taking difference also difference gnp because the series they are not stationary at this so let us see what happens now so now this all again is coming now here at our our uh, dependent uh, uh, variable is difference gnp and the lags have also been taken as difference gnp the granger causality test granger causality test block exogenity test you can do that so in this case so it is var granger granger causality so it is says export your dependent variable dgnp so export your probability is 0.03505 it is less than it is less than 0.05 it means export granger causes dgnp difference gn gfcs okay it is it is your value is probability is 0.04 more than 0.05 so it means this is not affecting gnp invisible they are not affecting gnp because the probability value is more now let us come to the value if dependent variable is export the dependent variable is export none of the neither gnp nor gfc nor invisibles they do not affect export similarly if you take dependent uh, variable gfc so it is only exports affect gfcs invisibles also affect gfcs but gnp does not affect this invisibles also they have been there invisible only gfc only gfcs causing this uh causing this ex, uh, invisibles but it is not affected. so this can also be done var granger causality can be done can be seen by doing this now if you if you estimate it again uh, let us say now if you don't take the difference but you simply take gnp and uh, then what happens if you simply take the gnp what happens we'll say okay and then uh, we we go for this uh, we go for this granger causality granger causality same thing gnp export increases gnp and visibles increase in p but gfc does is not gfc also increases no this is the difference now all our values are 0.05 but uh, exports are not affected by gnp gfc invisible similarly gfc is so when you are writing which affects which so you can say exports arrow 
GNP. Means automatically it will be an export put arrow and then GFC, GNP. And similarly, GNP and exports, you can also see that. So there are two ways. One, if there are only two ways, variables, simply Granger causality, you can do it. And if there are more than uh, two variables, then you can do var Granger causality. I'm thankful to those whom I am referring for this study. Three names are mentioned here, but there are many more whom I have referred whose names have not been given here. But all the experts, they need all appreciations. Thank you very much. You may submit your research work at Journal of Global Economy, rcssindia.org. Your work is evaluated by peers with double blind methodology. You will get comments for your work. Thank you.